Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my September book wrap up. I am filming this with wet hair, so I'm so sorry, but I want to get this video up today, October 1st. So we are doing what we have to do and filming it right now. Today is actually late night at the fog, so I have like a full face of makeup on later for like later today. But um, yeah, I am just going to show you guys all the books I read in the month of September. I read eight books, which isn't like my most books I've ever read, but this month I had so many five out of fives, it's actually insane. Okay, I'm just gonna start off um, and tell you guys what I read. The book I read was the second book in the Off Campus series, um, and it was so good. I rated it four out of five I mean I think I also rated the deal four out of five I read this last month and I was reading this book while I was doing my wrap-up but yeah it was four out of five I thought it was really good um <laughs> I don't know I just literally love that series so much that is why I read the third book which is five out of five I thought this was really good then I read the goal which is the fourth book in the series and I also rated this four out of five finally I read the new book that just came out um, during September it is actually four novellas about the four characters or four couples from these books and I rated this four out of five I thought this series was so good overall I would say this is a four point three star series i don't know i really enjoyed it it made me feel giddy it gave me butterflies i really liked it um if you guys like college themed romances um multiple different tropes um and some you know some romance in there i would definitely recommend this series it was the only series i read this month i'm pretty sure and i was not disappointed at all the next book i read was actually the only book um from my like i want to read this in the month of september and it is the memoir um by dolly elterton called everything i know about love this book was really good i rated it four out of five stars i had no idea who dolly was but this um book made me want to follow her she is from the uk i believe she's a british journalist i thought this story was great i thought it was real i liked how she's just like so honest and there's like no bs in her teachings and i thought it was so good and i would definitely recommend this for any um young adult woman like coming into her 20s or like mid 20s um but yeah i really enjoyed this and i'm glad that i wanted to um read this this month and i actually stuck to it this book i read oh my gosh this was my book of the month for september the love hypothesis oh my gosh i'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere this is a five out of five for me I know it's based off of a fan fiction, but I just try to keep that out of my mind because I'm not into Star Wars. But this story was so cute. It was like, it wasn't really enemies to lovers, um, but like maybe like a tiniest bit. It was definitely like fake dating trope, which I love the fake dating trope. Um, and it also had like the unrequited, I think that's how you say it, love, where, um, you know, someone's been wanting someone for like years and then it, they end up together and so i just thought this was such an adorable book i read it in one sitting it was a little steamy it was really well written um i'm impressed if this was fan fiction before but i really like this and it was five out of five because i read that book it made me get on like a romance kick so the next books i have are also romance the second to last one i have is love in other words by christina lauren christina lauren they did it again they this is my third book that i've um read by them and oh my gosh it just made me feel something i think this is my favorite novel i've read from them i've read the soulmate equation and then the unhoneymooners and i think this one has been by far the best one it went um it's like a friends to lovers story but it's like friends falling out and then lovers and i really like it i this is i think this was my favorite book i read this month maybe i don't know the love hypothesis was also really good it's in between these two books but even just thinking about it i'm getting giddy i really love this book um i really like these authors and i want to read more by them and finally the last book i read this month is called the dating plan i actually got this in my book of the month as an add-on i thought it was really good i didn't know it was the second book in a series which kind of makes me sad that i read it out of order even though you don't have to read it in order it's just the same characters in the series so i definitely want to read the other two books there's the first book called the marriage game or something like that and then the third book is coming out 
in December, November, December, sometime around then. I rated this three out of five. It wasn't my favorite romance. I thought it was really good. I thought there could have been some like fixing to it, I guess, but I really liked it. I thought it was very cute and it made me giddy as well. Those are all the books I read this month. And so now it is time for me to do my October TBR. I really don't do TBRs just because I don't want to say I'm going to read this book and not read it just because in my mind I just like being able to check things off I guess. So the nonfiction book that I want to read next month is called Women Don't Owe You Pretty by Florence Given. This book is actually the most beautiful book I've ever seen. Her art is fantastic. Um, I've actually already started reading this so I will definitely finish this book next month. But yeah this is going to be my nonfiction book I'm going to hold myself to next month. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I always try to read at least one nonfiction every month. So, um, yeah, this is the only, well, actually I'm adding another book to my TBR. Usually I would just have one nonfiction, but I want to add a little life. I started reading this book this month and I'm actually on the fifth part. Um, so I'm just a little over halfway. So I've already read this much. I have, um, a little less than halfway left. And so these are the two books that I want to finish in October for sure, like 100% I want to finish these. That's my little um, September wrap up and October TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the books I read and what I plan to read in this next month. Please let me know what you guys read this month or what you're planning on reading. I love recommendations. I want to get into some more folly reads. I feel like... I feel like I started A Little Life because it gave me more like fall vibes, but I know I have so many books that I want to read in these next two months. So hopefully you guys will be seeing a lot. I am almost on about fall break. I've actually been sick this past week, and so I read all of these books, like these three books in one day each, and so that was really nice. Um, but I have fall break coming up, so hopefully I can get some reading ground in there. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys today i hope you guys have a wonderful october 1st if you guys are seeing this today but yeah i'll talk to you guys very soon peace and love bye guys